Welcome everyone to Finding Life. My name is Jeff and we're here to help you find life, enjoy life, and win in life. We are in episode number 24 and what we're going to talk about today and over the next few episodes is exposing the enemy's playbook. So Jesus, we're going to get into Mark chapter 4, but Jesus has revealed um, some specific strategies that the enemy uses against us. And so it will be his playbook, Satan's playbook. And Jesus has, is, is exposing the enemy's playbook against us. And when we get to understand um, the playbook of our enemy or the playbook of, of the opposite team, if we're in sports and, and you study, the, you, you study your, the, the, the team you're going to be playing against, the opponents. You study them so you understand how they do things, why they do things, and, and the patterns that they continue to do over and over. So then you can figure out ways to, to, um, to change, to go around, to, you can figure out ways to win. If they're going to go this way, you can go that way. If they always do this, well, then you can figure out a way around that in order to win, right? Winning strategies. And so we're going to talk about these strategies. 2 Corinthians um, 2 verse 11 says this. It says, Lest Satan should have an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant. We are not to be ignorant of Satan's devices, of our enemy's devices. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13 says this. Ephesians 5 verse 13 says, But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For who, or for whatever makes manifest is light. So we're going to get into the Word of God, and we're going to talk about we're going to expose the enemy's playbook. We're going to shine the light on the playbook. We're going to, we're going to reveal some things. So why? So we can win. So we can find life, enjoy life, and win in life. Is that exciting to you? The word devices. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. The word devices um, means this. Uh, it can also be that that Greek word can be translated thoughts, purposes, and disposition. Thoughts purposes, and disposition. So the enemy has specific thoughts. The enemy has a purpose. The enemy has a disposition. I mean, this is, this is just the way he does things. Just like God has a way that he does things, the devil has a way that he does things. And so if we understand the way he does things, then we don't have to be tricked by it. We don't have to be deceived by it. We can be aware of it ahead of time so we're not thrown off guard. And we can move on and move around and move up and move over and break through. Amen. To enjoy life and win in life. So, um, John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said this about the thief, talking about Satan, our enemy. He said, the thief has come for only this reason, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief has come to steal, to kill, and destroy. This is his thoughts. This is his purpose. This is this, his disposition. This is the way, this is why and what he wants to do in our life. This is his fingerprints. This is his DNA. This is just his way of doing things. So we're going to get into Mark chapter 4. And Jesus exposes three of Satan's devices to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Three ways of thinking and acting that produce unwanted results. Okay, we're going to, he's going to expose three ways of thinking and acting that produce unwanted results. And he's going to share one way. The one way of thinking and acting that produces desired fruitful results in our life. And that is what? That's finding life, enjoying life, and winning in life. So we'll see you next time so we can talk about the next part. God bless. Bye-bye.